Nope. Have you ever seen a photo recapture? Instead of a checkbox, it's a low quality photo split into 16 square sections. It'll say something like, select all squares with street signs, and you have to click every square that contains a street sign. At 11 p.m. last Sunday night, I got one while downloading a free stock image. The recapture was a photo of a path through the forest. Select all squares with people. Okay, that was easy enough. In the center, there was a jogging woman in pink shorts. She took up a few of the middle squares and I clicked them all. I then pressed verify. It didn't work. Select all squares with people. The message said again. I took off my glasses and placed them on the table, squinting at the image. No, she wasn't the only person. Several feet off the trail, at the very edge of the image, I could see it. The edge of a arm, clad in a black sweatshirt, with a pink thumb poking out. I triumphantly clicked the two squares containing it. Verify. The image blinked as it refreshed. Then the same text popped up, as if to taunt me. Select all squares with people. I rubbed my eyes and stared at the image. The trees cast low resolution blocky shadows across the path. The woman's ponytail swung to the left, mid-motion. Patches of yellow sunlight dappled the surrounding forest. I studied some of the darker shadows, far from the path, but none of them matched the silhouette of a person. I glanced to the edge of the image. No. The image had changed. The arm at the edge of the photo was now further in the frame, taking up three squares instead of two. Bulky shoulders and dark jeans followed it. And the jogger was just slightly further down the path, as if she had taken a step. The touchpad was slick under my fingers, my heart pounded in my chest. Slowly, I dragged the cursor over the three squares and clicked them all. Verify. The image blinked. Select all squares with people. I leapt back from my computer. The image was different again. The man was further in the frame taking up five squares. His hand was stretched out towards the jogger, just inches from her shoulder. And the jogger, she was turned towards him, eyes wide, mouth open in a silent scream. Click, click, click. I furiously clicked all the squares Verify. Loading. Select all squares with people. The man's face was finally in frame. The hood of his sweatshirt was pulled tightly over his head. A translucent Halloween mask poked out from underneath, pressed against his features. His hand was latched onto her arm. She was screaming. Click, click, click. Verify. The image disappeared. I'd passed the recapture. I reported what I had seen to the police. 
At first, they thought I was crazy, but as I gave a detailed description of the images, they frantically took notes and asked me questions. The woman matched the description of a local woman, Kaylee Johnson. She went missing a week ago during an afternoon jog on the wooded Lakewood Trail. Kaylee Johnson was never found. Hello, dear listener. Thank you for joining me in this week's video. If you enjoyed it, smack that thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so you can be alerted whenever there is a new video. If you want to read more from Blair Daniels, the author of the story, check out the description for some links. And guys, this was a shorter story. If you guys checked out the channel update I posted last week, you'll know why. If not, check that out. And check out the, uh, if you haven't already, the 16K subscriber special where I appear in person to share a scary story from when I was younger. And that's about it. Until next time, everybody. Remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.